Hello, Neil. Who are you? I am the architect. I created the Matrix. I've been waiting for you. You haven't answered my question. Quite right. The Matrix is older than you know. I prefer counting from the emergence of one integral anomaly to the emergence of the next, in which case this is the sixth version. Five ones before me. Three, four. That's <laughs> there are only two possible explanations. There were five ones before. As you are undoubtedly gathering, the anomaly is systemic, creating fluctuations in even the most simplistic equations. The inevitability of its doom is apparent to me now as a consequence of the imperfection inherent in every human being. Thus I redesigned it, based on your history, to more accurately reflect the varying grotesqueries of your nature. However, I was again frustrated by failure. I have since come to understand that the answer eluded me because it required a lesser mind, or perhaps a mind less bound by the parameters of perfection. Thus the answer was stumbled upon by another, an intuitive program, initially created to investigate certain aspects of the human psyche. The dissemination of the code you carry, reinserting the prime program. Failure to comply with this process will result in a cataclysmic system crash, killing everyone connected to the Matrix, it will ultimately result in the extinction of the entire human race. You won't let it happen, you can't. You need human beings to survive. There are levels of survival we are prepared to accept. However, the relevant issue is whether or not you are ready to accept the responsibility for the death of every human being in this world. And the anomaly revealed as both beginning and end. There are two doors, as you adequately put. The problem is choice. But we already know what you are going to do, don't we? Already I can see the chain reaction. The chemical precursors that signal the onset of an emotion designed specifically to overwhelm logic and reason. An emotion that is already blinding you from the simple and obvious truth. 